Yes, indeed. Good morning, all my X-ray gang gangers out there. It's coming to you live this morning, man. About to pull up in the spot. You know how it is, early risers. Everybody love this first shift. <laughs> Actually, you know, everybody. Some, you know, sometimes uh, I made uh, uh, I made better scratch uh, working on them overnight shifts, man. You know how they always say it's less Indian chiefs in the building, but. You know, when you really when you really come down to it, man, if you got things going on, you got family, you got things to do, uh, sometimes that first shift, you, you start to find yourself on that one too. It don't matter to me, man. First shift, second shift, third shift. When you out here trying to uh, travel and um, contract and work with the hospitals and stuff, man, whatever shift they got, sometimes you'll take it and make it happen. Make it work for you. Um, I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate all the support. I want to make sure I said that to everybody salute um one in particular i had a i had a, a, a um someone asked me about uh traveling as a x-ray tech versus a ct tech and i wanted to specifically touch on that one real quick um i remember when i was when i first started traveling i had already started traveling with my with my ct registry um that made it a little easier um traveling as an x-ray tech you can do it um, however, what I found is that those jobs were a little were a little bit more limited in what they wanted in, 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 in availability, I should say, um, because what a lot of the hospitals are looking for, they're looking for somebody to be a, X, a CT. And obviously, if you're a CT tech, you're already an X-ray tech. So sometimes they could kind of double up on you and use you like that. You got to be aware of that sometimes. Absolutely. they A lot of times they want you to be like a two in one tech. Shoot, if they could get a three in one tech, they'll do that to you, too. It's up to you to pay attention and realize what it is what it is that they exactly want out of um, you know out of the traveler at that point. What are they what are they missing? And that's a good question to always ask your recruiter. That's a good question I say is always to ask the facility when they interview you. Hey, what kind of role are you looking for me to be in when I get there? What do you guys need and what's it like there? There's not there's no harm in asking those questions because they do interview you before you go. You will speak with the hospital directly um, before you go to the facility. They want to try. They want to test you out, see if you know what you're talking about and you know what you're doing. And it's an opportunity for you to figure out what it is exactly that they want to have you doing there. So that's my response to that question right there. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Keep the questions coming. Keep it going. Like I said, we're going 2021 going into 2022 right now, man. I got more information to come out for you. I do it from the heart, man. I just want to make sure that I get the information to you guys and, um, you know, so you can make the decision that's best for you. Traveling is great, but sometimes traveling ain't for everybody as well. And I understand that as well. But just know that it's available to you if you need to if you need to make some changes, because it's not just about just traveling. It's about sometimes making the changes that are necessary for you to proceed and prosper. Even though you, you know, you're working as a healthcare worker, don't feel like you're ever stuck. Don't feel like you're ever trapped in your shift or your schedule or none of that. There's always a change you can make that's better for your family, better for you, better for your schedule, better for your time, better for the extracurricular things that you need and or want to be doing in life. And um, I had I happen to have found that to be uh, contracting and traveling as a as a radiographer. All right. And so I wanted to share that with you. Yeah, man. It's your boy. Dave Rue. I'm signing off. I got to run up in the spot. You already know. And uh, I'll let y'all next time, man. Salute. X-ray. Gang, gang. Peace.